So our job at 10 is to become the most trusted service platform in the world. And with, that was the vision, the very ambitious vision we started with in a shared flat in central London back in 1998. So over the last almost 20 years, we've built a business with more than 700 staff in 20 offices around the world, and where we help support hundreds of thousands and millions in the future of affluent and wealthy members organize and get the best things in their life. Our subscription is the dominant part of our net revenues. So last year our net revenues were 33 million and of that subscriptions were 89% of our income. Now revenues have been growing very nicely over the last few years from that first a uh, few pounds of income we had back in 98 when we were looking after our very first members. In recent years, we've been growing at a CAGA, a compound annual growth rate, of closer to 29% over the last two years. Last year, we grew at almost 40% net revenues. Now, that growth is continuing as we win more contracts around the world. We're currently growing very rapidly in the Americas. We're growing rapidly in uh, Asia, as well as here in the EMEA region, the UK, Europe, and so on. That growth is underpinned by us winning corporate clients. That's where a private bank, a retail bank, a luxury brand, maybe an auto brand, a car brand, will give our service to their top customers. An example here in the UK would be Coots. Now, those people pay us to look after their customers, so our members get the service for free. That's a great way to grow a business because there's very, very low acquisition cost, even of some of the wealthiest people in the world. you can call up a lifestyle manager and ask them to book you into a restaurant that might be full. We can get tables there because our average member spends 80% more than the average person in that restaurant. Now then they also give us tables at lots of the top restaurants that you can book on our digital platform with one click. When it comes to live entertainment, music, theatre and sport, we do various things that our members love. Firstly, we ask our members to tell us on our digital platform what bands and acts they never want to miss. So one person might say, I never want to miss Springsteen or never want to miss uh, Benedict Cumberbatch in a West End performance. All of those things we will know about and we'll then alert them when those things go on sale because we get to find out as industry before the public do. And then we negotiate face value tickets for those members that want them so they don't have to buy them on the secondary market. Most of our members really cherish their weekends away and their family holidays. And so they turn to us so they've got an expert organising those precious times away but we also use our buying power in a way that no travel agent does. If our hotels, for instance, we're often 10% cheaper than the internet, and for flights, certainly for long haul business and first, there'd be a significant saving versus the airline's own website. Increasingly, we also help our members buy things. Sometimes it's us negotiating things like free parking at Selfridges or Bista Village in the UK uh, at Christmas time. Sometimes it's a 25% off a name brand that they'll give to us because it only goes to people they want as clients. Those kind of things, we've got experts that track them down on your behalf. So we're delighted to be on AIM because the capital that we've raised from listing is allowing us to continue to grow very aggressively around the world with solid service levels and rolling out a digital platform. Now, all of that across 2018 is behind contracts that we've already won. But in the future, this is going to be a step towards us becoming the most trusted service business in the world. So we already have banking partners and financial service companies that want to roll us out to their customers across Latin America, uh, the United States, Canada, around almost all of the major economies of Asia. And to roll that out successfully, we need the capital to make it happen. And then over time, those businesses will become as successful as our businesses in our mature markets are already. So when you invest in 10, you're investing in a business with a huge, ambitious vision. But crucially, you're investing in a business that's already operating from 20 cities around the world, that's already got high growth rates from blue chip partners, that solved the biggest problem in many subscription businesses, by getting somebody else, our corporate partners, to pay the subscription. You're investing in a business which is technology driven, but which has already got 700 extremely high quality employees around the world driving forward our service levels and our growth. And you're investing in a business that came to the market not to exit for ourselves, but to build a business over the next five or 10 years 
that's going to be extremely valuable and a business that can be a fantastic service in the world, the most trusted service business in the world.